Hi YouTube, welcome back. Today, we're gonna to preserve some pineapples. Specifically, Seventeen pineapples. Stay tuned. That's a lot of pineapples. I'm going to be canning the majority of them, but I'm also going to be dehydrating a lot of them because, well, I love dehydrated pineapple. It's very delicious. Me too. First. We gotta get cutting, and this is gonna take a while. got the dehydrator full 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 this is what I have left to can I'm not sure how many jars it's going to use these are all my pineapple cores that I'm gonna throw in the freezer and I can make juice out of it later now as for canning the pineapple I'm going to use an extra light syrup with the regular instructions out of the ball canning book you can find these on online. These are just the regular pineapple instructions. I will link it down below, but it's very simple. It's going to be a hot pack. Make up your syrup in a pot with sugar and water. Now you can use juice, which I'm going to make juice, but I'm not going to make juice tonight. It's something you need to have ahead of time. So if you want to do it in juice, make your juice ahead of time. Or buy bottled unsweetened juice. For the extra light syrup, you need one and a quarter cup of sugar and five and a half cups of water. I'm going to start with that, maybe a double badge, and see how many I can get. I've got two canner loads ready to go with jars, because I'm not sure how many I'm going to need. Right. Back in this pot, I made a double batch of the extra light syrup. So there's two and a half cups of sugar and 11 cups of water. Bring it to a boil over medium high heat and then put it on low and keep it at a simmer while you use it for canning. All right, once your uh, sugar water or juice or whatever it is that you're using comes to a boil, then you just need to keep it at a simmer while you use it. You want to heat up your pineapple for about a minute. That's it. It just needs to get warm, basically, in your warm sugar water. Unless you're doing juice and then you're supposed to do it separately, but you're just heating it up. So. And you're supposed to do it like one layer at a time. Of course, the instructions were for rings. I'm just gonna put a little bit in. Let's 
let it sit for a minute, and then jar it up, and then put a little more in. Let it sit for a minute, and jar it up. Strain your pineapple, just put it in the jars, and then add your liquid after. It says a generous half inch of headspace. Deep bubble. You need to wipe your rims. I always use vinegar, but you don't have to, you could just use water. Fingertip tight. question was, how much do you get from 16 pineapples? The answer is 14 pints of pineapples in syrup and a whole large dehydrator full of dehydrated pineapples. That's a lot. There's roughly about six pineapples in the dehydrator. The ones that I sliced long ways uh, there was a whole pineapple on each shelf and then just guessing about another pineapple on the chunk shelves will give us six pineapples in there. So at least six pineapples in the dehydrator. So it took about 10 pineapples to make 14 pints. These will process for 15 minutes in a water bath canner and then they're done. The dehydrated pineapple is cooking slowly at 135 degrees Fahrenheit and will take until morning, pretty much all night, like eight hours-ish. At least it should. Well, we're all done. 14 pints out of the canner. Thanks for coming along with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And remember, life's an adventure. Thanks for joining me and mine. God bless.